there's a remnant that is a force to be reckoned with Woo! in this Come on. season. And God is raising up wrecking balls. Yes. I see people of Woo! God that are wrecking balls in this season to That's bring right. the truth of God's word, to break down and dismantle the works of the enemy. Woo! Come on. The strongholds in the mindset. Thank yes. you, Holy Thank Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Thank Jesus. you Holy Hallelujah. Spirit. There's a remnant. There's a remnant. There's a remnant. There's a remnant. And God is doing a new thing. Yes. Ask in sin and make excuses for staying there. Yes. But that the conviction of the Spirit of God would hit your heart and transform you in the Woo. name of Jesus. Come on, Jesus. come on, come on. I decree and declare that the fire of God would begin to fall upon you and expose any and everything in him that is not like God. In the name of Jesus, uproot God. Yes. Uproot Thank Holy you, Spirit. Thank uproot you, and dismantle yes. the works Thank of you, wickedness. Jesus. Uproot Thank and dismantle you. the Thank works God. of iniquity in the bloodlines, in the mindset. Rewire the brains of your people on tonight. Rewire the hearts of Ooh. your people on, on tonight. On, on. In the name of Jesus. The gavel is being hit. Woo. The gavel is being hit. I see a gavel in the courtroom of heaven being hit. Break through and break forth in the name of Jesus. Battle rises up and you have no light to see where the enemy's coming from. Come on, somebody. This is what the Lord is telling me. You might be living a pure life, but now is the time where we need to be seeking like never before. Now is the time where we need to be seeking so that we can store up the oil. We need to have an abundance of oil. We need to have an abundance of provision. We need to have an abundance so that we can be ready for whatever attack is going to come our way in this next season because this is not going to be an easy time. This is not going to be an easy time. And you might be a churchgoer, and maybe you don't do things wrong, and maybe you're living pure, and maybe you're following the commandments, and maybe you love the Lord because I'm sure you do, but this is not a time to just love the Lord. This is a time where you need to seek Him like never before in spirit and in truth. You need to worship in spirit and in truth. You need to be in the Word like never before. You need to be asking for revelation like never before. You need to be seeking God like never before. You need to put every distraction to the side like never before you need to get into the presence of God like never before you need to wake up in the midnight hour like yes. never before you need to get up out of your bed like never before you need to start praying at three in the morning like never before you need to start interceding for your family for your friends for your loved ones for yourself like yes. never before because I ain't going to hell for nobody. And you know what? This is the season where God is separating the wheat from the tares. And you know what? Some of those tares could actually be the people in the church who think they love the Lord. But I don't want to be that person where he says, I never knew you. Depart from me because even though you love me, even though you said you love me, you never seek my presence. You never seek my word. You never seek me out. You never put things to the side. You never left the cares of the world to the side. You never left everything behind. You never picked up your cross. You never represented me. You denied me before people. Even though you said you loved me, you Woo! denied me before people. Jesus. You denied me in your workplace. You denied me even in front of your family that you had fear of because you didn't know what they were going to say. But God is saying that this is the hour where you need to get your oil up. You need to get your weight up. You need to yes. get your word up. Woo! You need to get the fire of the Holy Ghost power, that oil to come down. Because God is releasing the ancient oil. So you better get your lamp and you better store up that ancient oil yes. that doesn't die. Come on. 
You need to store up that ancient oil that doesn't die because that ancient oil burns slow. Jesus. Come on. Come on. That ancient oil burns slow and never dies. So when you got that ancient oil stored up in your lamp, your wick is going to burn slow. Your wick is going to last. Your oil is going to yeah. last until the day where Christ returns. That's right. Because him who started a good work in us is going to complete it until the day that he comes back. Until the day that he splits the clouds open. Until the day where he, the trumpet sounds and he comes down. Come on. But you need to get your oil up. Woo. Come on. I come against every slothful spirit in the name of Jesus. I come against every lazy, vagabond spirit in the name of Jesus. I come against every nomadic spirit, every wandering in the wilderness spirit. Yes. I break it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Because people of God, you're not going to be wandering no longer. But as you continue to seek. Come on, come on, come on. As you continue to seek. I don't know about you, but I want that ancient oil that yes. never dies. Jesus. I want that ancient oil to be burning in my lamp. I want my lampstand to be burning on fire for God. That no matter what gets in my way, they can't come near us because the fire burns so much that just the heat, the heat of the presence of God that's around us, no demon in hell can approach us. That's right. 